So hi guys, welcome back to our channel. And today we would be discussing one of the most frequently asked questions of our bar candidates and also our students. So ano nga ba ang you recommend mo na book? Here are some books dito sa aming office. For your guidance, alam naman natin lahat na there's no monopoly of knowledge. So we have a lot of authors out there. We also have a lot of books pertaining to different bar subjects. That's where the confusion starts. So imagine yourself na nandun kayo sa isang law library. And for one subject, there are 20 books. So you don't know kung sino nga ba talaga or ano ba talaga yung dapat mong basahin. Well, if you have the luxury of going to a law library, then that would be great because the first pages will actually tell you kung ano yung quality ng book na ito. Um, say for example, we have some books here. Okay, let's say the book of Justice Paras. This is Civil Code. The Civil Code books of Justice Paras consist of five volumes. Um, most of them, unfortunately, is makakapal. So if you, if you don't have the luxury of time to read all those re, or all of those pages ng books na yon, then you might want to switch to something more compact, like the reviewer of Professor Elmer Rabuya. But nonetheless, the substance is still the same. Mas pinaiksi lang siya. Now, the significance ng mga makakapal na books, let's say this one, the Constitutional Law Book of Father Bernas. Yun yung mga books na nagagamitin mo sa law school. Now, kapag ikaw nagre-review na, of course, you would look for something more compact. Something that's easy to comprehend, and something that would refresh your memory kung ano nga ba yung inaral mo dati pero kung hindi ka nag-aral dati then that is your mistake so sa mga law students dyan if you haven't started yet then you better start reading your books there is no better time to review than this current situation of our country which is the enhanced community quarantine wala naman tayong gagawin wala naman tayong pupuntahan so better read your books now um, the next thing that, that I would like to discuss is Sabi ko nga kanina You would immediately see kung ano nga ba yung quality ng book So how was it presented? Yung mga notes natin like Golden notes, red notes, dragon notes And all other kinds of notes from different review centers Yung mga yun is pretty much patterned Dun sa syllabus na nilalabas ng Supreme Court Every time the bar season comes in Yung mga books natin na ganito, uh, generally, diretso lang sila sa topic. Now, the good thing about it is, kapag nabasa mo na dati yung mga subjects or topics sa law school, konti na lang babasahin mo sa review. It's like, it's, it's a refresher. Like, ah, oh, nga pala, oh, naalala ko to. Jurisdiction over subject matter, ah, oh, naalala ko to dun sa ano nan, second year. Things like that. Um... Siguro yung significance lang ng new materials would be the updates like the jurisdictional amount of MTC and RTC that's significant. Now we have a client so I'll be back later. So yun nga, um, how the books are presented. That's that's where we ended if I'm not mistaken. So kung mapapansin nyo, ah no no no, I, I was talking about the jurisdictional amount of the RTC and MTC when it comes to it. Now, um, let me go back. So, yun na nga. There are new updates. Yun yung i-consider natin. Now, as you are walking dun sa library, pak, 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 cha, cha, cha. If you are walking sa nyo sa law library, you came across this one book na talagang nagustuhan nyo yung presentation. And, um, you want to, you want, you want to read it. So, you started reading. Now, there is this nasty habit from bar candidates and also law students na kapag hindi na nila gusto yung binabasa nila halfway through, magpapalit na sila ng, magpapalit na sila ng, uh, ng book. So, that's a waste of time. Kung anong naumpisan mo, tapusin mo. Magpaka-loyal ka din sa libro na binabasa mo. Because pretty much, lahat ng books na yan are based on the same law, same cases, or maybe not, or same jurisprudence. So those are the things that you need to consider. 
Now, is there something that you would recommend personally? Well, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not a bookworm. I may have read some, a couple or two of uh, two books of each subject. I haven't read any of the good books for you mga nire recommend. Now, if you wanna know the recommended books, you can join our group, Law Students Help Group Philippines. And there are discussions or questions there. There are threads kung saan dinidiscuss namin kung ano nga ba yung most recommended books ng ating mga members. And if you are not satisfied, then you can go ahead and post your question if you if somebody would recommend, say like um, the book of Attorney Rigara for remedial law and uh, some other books. If you already have a resource or a book or a material, just stick to it. Kapag may nagbigay sa'yo, well, pwede mong padaanan, but as much as possible, stick to your material. Because that's where the confusion comes in. If you are being fed with a lot of information, there's an information overload. Pagdating ng bar, boom, blackout. Yun yung hirap nun. That's, that's pretty much the things that I can tell or I can say about uh, law books. Okay, so is there anything else that you would like to ask me regarding books? Of course, yung codals natin, that's, that's a must. It's, it's indispensable for you to have your codals. Kasi kapag naglalakad ka, kapag, nagtat, kapag tumatambay ka, that's, that's pretty much the pocket book that you need. You can put it in your pocket, you can put it in your purse or in your bag, and that's lightweight. Yun nga lang, walang explanation, but if you were able to read or to study during your law school days, then makikita mo pa lang yung provision, ah, naalala ko to. Okay, kapag nakinig ka sa klase, ah, naalala ko to. That's it. Um, books, that would be essential if you are going for your self-review. And kapag ano naman, kapag naka-enroll ka sa review center, like Jurist, um, Chandra Bless, Veliasis, Recoletos, Academicos, etc. If you are enrolled there, they would give, be giving you free notes kasama na doon yung lecture part para makasunod ka sa, pag, uh, sa pag-lecture ng kanilang highly esteemed uh, lecturers. Okay? If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell para ma-notify kayo agad if there's a new video that we'll be posting. I'm hoping that this video has a better quality than my old videos. That's because first, well lit ang aming office. And second, meron akong lavalier mic. Thank you very much sa aking sponsor. Thank you very much sa lahat ng nanood. Stay safe. I am praying na matatapos na din itong uh, problema natin sa ating bansa which, in, which uh, involves COVID-19. Stay at home. Please, if wala kayong importante yung pupuntahan or gagawin, stay at home. Ako, dito ako sa office ngayon. I have my face mask but I'm not wearing it because we don't have any client at the moment. Pero ako, um, dito ako nag-duty for me to assist in implementation of uh, administrative circular numbers 38-2020 which is the reduction of bail due to COVID-19 and or of course yung mga bagong PDL natin ina-assist natin para makalabas sila and to decongest our um, pe- or our penal institutions so thank you very much guys you enjoy the rest of your day and more power po sa inyong lahat stay safe